Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel, Mr. Balloons, and today we're doing game week 10 of the Barclays Premier League predictions. I did miss out week 9, but I did actually predict it. Anyways, just off camera, let's get started. It's going to be on the 8th of October. It is Manchester City versus Southampton. Now, I think it's kind of obvious who would win this. Manchester City 3-1. Erling Haaland, he's definitely going to score. I mean, apparently he's only 8 goals off of the Golden Boot winner last year, so that is crazy. That's pretty much obvious in my opinion. Manchester City are going to go all over Southampton. Let's see what happens. Let's move on to our next game, which is Chelsea, who are home against Wolverhampton Wanderers. I'm going to predict this 2-0 to Chelsea. Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, and to be honest, Wolves lost 2-0 against West Ham. And if West Ham can win 2-0 against Wolves, I don't see why Chelsea can. And also, Wolves are in 18th. That's also another error here. So I think Chelsea have got this in the bag. Aubameyang performing against Crystal Palace, getting himself a goal. And they've got Raheem Sterling, which was, for a bit, not too long ago, the only person getting the attacking, counter-attacking going for Chelsea. But Aubameyang's there as well. I don't see why Chelsea can't win it if West Ham did. Moving on to our next game, it's going to be AFC Bournemouth against Leicester City. I'm predicting this 1-0 to Leicester City. Now... I always back up Leicester and they never ever perform, but they performed against Nottingham Forest winning 4-0. Yes, Nottingham Forest were in 19th, they were in 20th, but I mean they'll take anything and I think against Bournemouth, even at the Vitality Stadium, that enclosed stadium, I think Bournemouth is going to be low scoring, they like having low scoring games, but against a Leicester side that scores so many goals, they've scored 14 goals and whether or not they're in 19th, They've still scored goals. I don't think they're def I think they're definitely going to score a goal. But Bournemouth aren't scoring goals. And for that, Leicester, they've got all the momentum and all that spirit to the side after winning 4-0. They're going to keep this up. This is the uprise of Leicester. I'm going to predict 1-0. And we are moving on to the next game, which is my favourite team, Newcastle United, who's at St. James's Park. It's against Brentford FC. And... I'm going to predict 2-1 to Newcastle United. Yes, maybe being biased, but Newcastle are at home with that roaring stadium. If you look at it, Brentford haven't played since the 18th of September, which is quite a while away because of the international break. So they might be a bit rusty. Yes, they might have been in training on international duty, some of their players. But still, Newcastle have played. And the fact that they're at home... And really the history between these two clubs being a bit dominant to Newcastle. And Newcastle has been playing well every single game. The minimum this could be is probably a draw. But at home, Newcastle United are playing well. Newcastle to win it. We are moving on to the next game which is Brighton and Tove Albion. Who are home against Tottenham Hotspur. And I'm going to predict this 2-1 to Spurs. Or that's what I thought I would predict it. I'm going to say 1-1. Purely because Spurs went to Frankfurt. And they drew 0-0. And Brighton drew 3-0 against Liverpool. Yes, maybe a Liverpool that wasn't really performing. But Brighton still got a point against what would you call a top 4, top 6 club. And they're facing Spurs now. And there's been a lot of shocker results. I think things are going to change with Brighton eventually. Because their squad doesn't really seem amazing. And yet everything's stringing together. They've lost Graham Potter, which is a great manager. So maybe things are going to change. But I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. A very close game. And really a Brighton-like drawing. Spurs draw against Frankfurt. It matches up to a draw. Moving on to our next game. It's going to be on the 9th of October though. So a whole new day. West Ham are home against Fulham FC. And I'm going to predict this. 3-1 to West Ham. Now, West Ham got a 2-0 victory over Wolverhampton Wanderers at home. The home here... Fulham got a red card and lost 4-1 against Newcastle. Not only that, in the past five games for them, they've lost three. They lost 4-1 against Newcastle. Mitch, Alexander Mitrovic is now injured. They've got one of their players down to 10 men. That's two players gone. West Ham have got all the momentum. They've got the history of Premier League. Fulham's only just got up here. This is going to be the downfall of Fulham. And they're going to lose once again without a goal scoring Mitrovic. They might be able to get a goal because there's some other good, decent players there. But against West Ham, who played well against Wolves. And I think it's going to be the downfall of Fulham. So, 3-1 West Ham. Next game is Crystal Palace at home 
against Leeds United. Now, this is going to be a very interesting game, but I'm going to back up Crystal Palace to win this 2-1. They were close of getting at least a point against Chelsea. But really, Palace, they need points. They're going to be maybe even close to desperate for points because they're currently in 17th position. They're not playing like a 17th place club. They've got a great manager in Patrick Vieira. The Wilfred Zaha and Eze combos absolutely amazing. And if Elise returns, that is just beautiful. And Leeds United, to be honest, they're not at Allen Road here. They had a boring 0-0 draw against Aston Villa. I would say, when it comes to it, they're both pretty much the exact same quality. But the home advantage here for Crystal Palace and the fact that Crystal Palace need more points. And I think it's going to come here. Now the next game, another very interesting game. A lot of interesting games. It's Arsenal who are home against Liverpool. And I'm going to predict this at 2 all as the final result. Now Arsenal, they've got some great players. Their attack is sensational. Gabriel Jesus is definitely performing as a top quality Premier League striker, exactly what you want. Liverpool, to be honest, ever since Sadi Mane went, it looks like this season has been the best, but they've had experience in that top flight. Arsenal have lost the game against Manchester United, so it's always possible for a team to beat Arsenal. And Liverpool, they're a good team. I don't know what's happened, but they're going to find their way somehow. In my opinion, they're going to eventually find their way, but I don't know what they're missing. They're going to find their way here, and it's going to be a point. It's going to be interesting, it's going to be high scoring, because these both teams are so equal, I just cannot separate them. So a draw here seems reasonable. Moving on to Everton, who are home at Goodison Park against Manchester United. I'm going to predict this one that 1-1 one, one in an intense draw. Now, I think it is going to be low scoring. Jordan Pickford, top-notch goalie. You know, Everton also got a win against Southampton, which is always good. He's a top-notch goalie, so I think Manchester United probably can get a goal against them because Marcus Rashford's, you know, playing very well. So that's all good in that industry for Manchester United. And Manchester United got four wins in a row before they were rudely interrupted in their streak by Manchester City. But they are classed as one of the top quality teams in the Premier League, losing 6-3. But they still managed to score six, three goals, Manchester United. But really, in my opinion, Connor Cody is that Everton centre-back. He's quality. He, in fact, got a goal. You know, McNeil's starting to perform as well. If Malpe can eventually get a goal as well, you know, everything's coming up. Everton, especially at their home ground. And Man United usually only do well against top six tight teams. They do very well against them, but never well against the low teams. That's what it seems to be at, in this season. They've lost against Brighton and Brentford. So I think here it's going to be a draw. Because I think Manchester United have improved as the season's gone on. But I don't think they're quite a way out of their little corrupt little start. Let's move on to the next game. Which is Nottingham Forest against Aston Villa. Also, it's a whole new day, the 10th of October. Nottingham Forest, I'm going to predict, is going to win this 1-0 against Aston Villa. Yes, I am changing things around. I'm sure Steve Cooper can try and think of something what went wrong. Again, he likes turning things around like in the championship. He turned Nottingham Forest around from like a mid-table club to getting promoted to the Premier League, which is quite a big change. And here he can analyse what went wrong. And as a good manager as he is, I think at the Nottingham ground, supporting them, you know, they're going to boost and beat Aston Villa. Aston Villa didn't score against Leeds. And now they're going away against the Nottingham ground. You know, the tactics aren't secured for Aston Villa. they got really boring football. I'm sure Forrest will be able to sneak in a goal somewhere. That will be the end of my video. Before we do wrap up, I'm going to quickly see how many points I got last week. It will be on the screen here, but I got one exact result, which was Chelsea winning 2-1 against Crystal Palace. But that's the only exact result. I did get some other results uh, correct. Obviously not the exact ones, just the score correct. But this was obviously off camera, not in a previous video. Let's wrap it up. Hopefully you can like and subscribe. And always remember to turn on notifications to never miss one of my fantastic YouTube videos. I will see you next time. Goodbye.